Welcome back to this tutorial. In this part, we will finish the model of the fireplace. If you missed the first part, feel free to click the link to the previous part. We will first finish the profile of the fireplace. This will give the nice rounded shape of the fireplace. Once we convert the curves to a mesh, this will be very difficult to adjust. But no worries, I will show you a good workflow. Enjoy this time lapse. Now that we have the fireplace and curves, it is time to convert it to a mesh. Duplicate the curves collection. Should you want to change things, it is easier to have the curves as a backup. Rename the collection. I use mesh in the name to make it clear. Convert the path to a mesh, and you're done. It's that easy. Now that we have the meshes, we need to clean them so that they can resemble the fireplace. First, start by deleting the top faces of the inset mesh. Use face select and set the viewport to wireframe. This will make sure that we have selected the top parts. Delete them. Do the inverse with the top part. There, you need to delete the bottom parts. Now that we have two separate meshes, we need to do some cleaning. Start with the top part and close the top. Just select the edges and press F. Use the knife tool to make nice quads. I am sure you are familiar with this, so I will time lapse it. We also need to break the 90 degree corners. Select the edges with the 90 degree corner, use Ctrl B to bevel them. You will see an instant change in the shading. Let's move on to the bottom part. We close the top and model the beam in front as you can see in the reference image. Not much else to say about this, so let me time lapse this. Now that we are done, let's change the settings in the viewport to show our newly created mesh. I have cavity and wireframe enabled. Turn off the wireframe for a nice clean render. Sit back and observe your newly created mesh.
Using curves gives you a great way to build difficult meshes. And with this workflow, you can create new meshes really easy. Feel free to drop a comment and give this video a like if you learned something. There will be links to other videos for learning more about curve modeling. In part 3, we will model the wall, so stay tuned for this. Thank you for watching and happy modeling!